Speaker. The administration of justice in Alberta is in disrepute due to the actions of this Justice Minister. Allow me to make my case. Two weeks ago, the Minister issued a protocol directing Crown prosecutors to either stay charges or plea bargain to obtain guilty pleas for cases requiring too much court time. Since then, hundreds of charges, including many involving violence and weapons, have been dropped. And there's more. Citizens victimized by these alleged criminals had to hear in the media that the offenders got off scot-free. The minister maintains she had to take this drastic step because Albertan, Alberta does not have enough prosecutors. Well, that did not come as a surprise because she's the one who cut funding to Crown prosecutors for two years running, and that left 35 positions vacant. When the media revealed her court-clearing directive, the public reacted with outrage. The next day, the minister found money to hire more prosecutors. But let's put this all in perspective. This NDP government is finally increasing funding for prosecutors, but that $14 million amounts to half the amount it is spending to, wait for it, change your light bulbs. What is especially concerning about this whole escapade is the minister attempts to conceal her unprecedented protocol. She hid the directive, and when her own prosecutors blew the whistle, she tried to quell the uproar by serving up millions of dollars. In Alberta, the administration of justice is a primary responsibility of the minister. I'm not just making that up. It's on the justice website. Mr. Speaker, the court of public opinion is clear, and in this case, it's the only one that counts. The minister's actions have eroded Alberta's faith in our justice system, and that means the minister has to go. I rest my case, Mr. Speaker.